Hey guys, Broad now back with you and I return to Lost in Space on this video. So this is Season 3, Episode 3 Review. The episode is called Nothing Left Behind. So it's the halfway point of the season and it, it's another really enjoyable and solid episode. It, it definitely marks the halfway point where you see where the Robinson family end up at the end of this episode so it's a clear sort of signal then they're gonna spend the rest of the season or, or probably most of it in a different location because they're actually like reunited as a family in this episode but very chaotic a, a lot of different things going on but th there's some good character stuff there's some more like good sibling like banter between them like Judy assigning Will and Penny jobs <laughs> at the start of the episode and like Penny getting a bit mad and it's a hey you know I've got like 97 jobs and Will's got like one and, and I, I love Will actually being offended at the, this idea that you know yeah you might be good with, with the kids sort of thing um, so that there's some good like sibling banter in the episode with some of that stuff and so the crust of crux of the episode is that the parents at one point John and Maureen they're sort of resigned to this idea then like their kids are, are going to make it to the planet but they're not they're resigned to that they're obviously very proud of of the kids but what what actually happens is then the kids see pictures of, of Mars and they sort of they see pictures from the point of view of Scarecrow who has been captured and and what what happens is then the evil robots basically raid his memory banks so it means that they know they know the location of the Robertsons the, the, in different locations and the crux of it is that Judy and co have have a big dilemma on their hands because and I think that this is some of the best stuff in the episode where they're actually having this debate over whether to try to save like the, their parents or whether they should go on to to you know to the, the planet um, Alpha Centauri because Judy is, is convinced that it's a trap because the the robots want the engine which they've got and she's convinced that they're like tricking them luring them you know into a trap and she's trying to reason that hey it's a trap but also there's no guarantee we'll be able to save them anyway. And Penny's like more, well, they would at least want us to try. Or, And obviously it's quite an emotive scene because you've got all the other like children. And, and at one point they, they all sort of put their hands up and say, yeah, we want to try. We want to try to rescue them. At least they're our parents. And... Obviously, there's different dilemmas and debates going on. It's sort of interesting that we then get a scene where Penny is, like, motivating Will. Um, and sort of, like, Will kind of has a plan to, to like, try and fix things. And, and it's not revealed to to later in the episode what it is. But, but that's quite well done. And... At the same time, you have Judy talk, caught talking to Grant. And I think that scene throws a little more, like, suspicion on Grant. But the context of it is that he just says to her, this isn't a democracy. We're not taking votes here. You're the leader. You're, like, the captain. So, so you make the decision. And I really like it as a scene just because... In some ways, you might say, well, he's being a bit selfish. It's, it's obviously not. But at the same time, there is something like quite practical about what he's saying, about the fact that we can't really have a democracy here. You do have to have one sort of voice. Um, but there's obviously different factors to, to take into account. But 
I think it's probably another way to like just create a bit of like suspicion on on him as a character as well. But anyway, in in the end, they they come up with this this plan where they they do end up saving the parents and and what they do is they actually create a decoy like a different ship, which distracts the robots, um, like a decoy type type ship, and they actually end up like saving like the parents, and they they're all reunited. This emotional scene, which is really well done. It's it's very like emotional, and there's some fun, and you you get the sense of it. And I I guess it feels quite special because they have been like separated for quite a long time. And Maureen obviously gets to see see then Grant's still alive, which is like quite a big deal. And I think there's just something quite like nice and, and upbeat about the parents realizing, oh my God, look look what look how far our kids have come. You know, they've done done all this for us. So that that that's some some nice stuff because obviously someone like Judy I think is is well sorry not Judy I've mentioned her but Penny actually is a lot more like proactive in in things like this as well and some of the discussions I think it really gets into the the ideas of of what's going on in in this sort of sort of show um so they they set out on on their mission but at the same time, Will has this plan, and because again he feels like he's the target and and the danger, and you know they have this engine part, and they he feels then he has this plan where he'll like separate from from the rest of the crew, and he'll wait till they're sort of in a safe place, and then he'll you know him and the robot will deal with it so to speak and I think this part of the episode gets a bit messy I think there's a little too much going on at at times it's not a big deal it's still some good stuff but I think it maybe gets a bit messy and murky like what exactly is going on in the plot um but yeah his plan like like doesn't exactly work because you know, because there's this plot, this sort of subplot where he's trying to use like the voices, the sounds that that he he recorded in 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 the cave, like in the last episode, and he sort of has this theory that he could maybe use them to to control the robots, which is a little bit sketchy because he doesn't know for certain. Then, then he can sort what they are, and he obviously knows that they're from like the robots originally, and you know going into the past. But I think his plan is is a little bit shaky. But he, he, you know, I guess he's the sort of character where where he wants to try something, and and he's willing to to just put it out there. But like it doesn't really work; it backfires. But Part of his whole thing is that he uses Smith to like distract the parents. Like he actually wakes her up from her cry sleep, and it's like, well, I held up my end of the park bargain. Now can you help me? And so it's actually quite a fun little sequence of Smith distracting them, and and obviously <laughs> Maureen's like, S- yeah, Smith, what are you doing here? Shouldn't you be dead? And she's like, I saw your helmet and everything, and. They they just sort of do have a line where Smith just explains that she she was like she hid away on like the Jupiter shuttle. So so that's kind of how she survived, so I guess it's one of those things where she sneaked onto it at the last minute, but it's yeah. You're going back to that scene, but anyway. It's but it definitely feels like a lot of fun having Smith like reunited with like the whole of the family with the parents as well that dynamic was always very interesting and and a lot of fun but yeah sort of classic Smith where she she like helps Will distract distract them but then things go wrong anyway and Will gets like you know chucked across the room and and John picks him up and puts him in the show anyway so the, that that didn't really come to much but where the episode 
ends is then because they're having problems getting through the meter all field, then then the robot who's like guiding the ship, he has to go they ask him to, to set them on a different route. Um so what ends up happening is that they get separated because you've you've got all these different Jupiter like shuttles and they've sort of separated all these different families. So what happens is then the rest, including like VJ's family, that they get to like Alpha Centauri, but the Robinsons have been, you know, cast astray because they've they ran into problems, so they've gone on a different like location and that's where the episode sort of ends where they're in this this other place and things get desperate where they start to like drop you know and the ship gets out of control so so they have to like inject and they're all sort of injecting i actually like the line from john where he like says don't panic kids remember your training sort of thing so, so that's a, a good sort of like line that's consistent with with their sort of development and something a father might say but there's just a bit of tension before we cut to credits where J- judy seems to be struggling to like inject herself and she's there with maureen so that's sort of the cliffhanger but it, it seems pretty clear that we're going to now spend the rest of the season like the second half of the season in in the um in this other place with like the robinsons i'm assuming don's with them as well i can't really remember where he was at this point but that probably like and it's fitting because now we've got like the main sort of cast back together all in the same space and and in this new place so it seems that that's where we're probably going to focus the last four episodes um so another good episode may maybe not quite as good as some of the other episodes like the last couple at least um there's a few weaker moments but still a good episode i'm still enjoying this season a whole lot and it's it's a nice easy watch. I'm looking forward to seeing what adventures the Robinsons get up to next. So that's my thoughts on Lost in Space, episode four of season three. Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. Like and subscribe. Share me out on social media, and you now can support me on Patreon, which is Patreon.com/slash/BoardNow for extra content support me for just a dollar a month thanks for listening see you guys later